I found the most broken Minecraft hacks on the whole internet that are so insane they feel illegal to use. So today I'm testing them so you don't get caught. Watch until the end at your own risk. Buried treasure sucks. What? Why? Okay, well, the loot is actually pretty good. Yeah, But it you is. explore a shipwreck, you find uh -huh. a map, and then you go to the X, and you, and dig, you dig all over the place, uh -huh. and you, <laughs> you keep digging, and you, you check the map again, and then you dig some <laughs> more, oh, God, and then you feel like you're on so the X, true. and then you keep digging, and you, you just can't, you can't find the chest? <laughs> Well, you don't need to worry about that anymore. Wait, why because not? Because once you're close enough to the X, uh -huh. all you need to do is look at your chunk coordinate Wait, and make sure that you're standing on top of nine, nine. nine the middle nine? coordinate doesn't matter. Just make okay. sure the first and third one are nine, nine. All right. And then dig straight down and you'll be and on top of the chest every what? single time. That's too now, easy. That honestly feels anymore. illegal. This is cheating. Yo, ho, ho, a pirate's life for me. So let's go ahead and locate a shipwreck. We need to TP ourselves there and get ourselves a buried treasure map. All right, down out into the depths of the ocean. We'll give ourselves some night vision so I can see what's going on. Oh no, is this one of the shipwrecks that don't have a treasure map? Chest, yes? No, there's no treasure map. Fail one, we have to keep looking. All right, here's our second shipwreck. Is there a chest? Yes, there is. <laughs> and buried a treasure map. Awesome, second time's the charm. Oh my gosh, and the X is literally right here. It turns out it was just over here on the corner, guys. But let's give this Minecraft hack a go. What, I can't find the number nine, guys. Wait, down here. I think this oh 10 oh okay wait wait the first number is nine and now i just got to move one two three all right we're at nine one nine the same as the coordinates for the chunk in the video let's go ahead and dig oh my gosh what no way literally it's the chest mine that was diamond here iron we got a heart of the sea oh my i feel like the minecraft place is gonna come and arrest me this is illegal guys but absolutely awesome i can't wait to see what else works water in the nether doesn't mix but hey that's not a surprise to anyone <laughs> No Although, kidding. for some reason, when you put the water uh -huh. inside of a hot metal cauldron, all of a sudden it doesn't evaporate. Excuse now, while me? while I don't understand the logistics of what? it, it is entirely possible to place huh. your water cauldron inside of your it, nether what? base and completely is that water extinguish in the yourself nether? from any and all fires. Well, and sure, it it's not as versatile as, as a full Excuse water source me? block in the overworld. The and the place as dry as the nether, Why does you're the water not take evaporate? what you can get. Especially if you just caught a blaze's Th fireball no, five seconds ago. No, this Minecraft law. I need to know, guys, is this an illegal Minecraft tag? Grab yourself a cauldron and put out water, but... No, no, no. no. Water than that. This cannot be true. If you try and put water down normally, it instantly evaporates. But apparently, if it's inside of this metal box... It just, it's just like, yeah, nah, I'm chilling. And apparently, guys, on top of that, it actually functions correctly, too. So if I light myself on fire here, guys, or I've been hit by a blaze, and then I walk into the water, this is ridiculous. This is actually, this is blasphemy. You hit the button, lava comes down, and you hit it again, you go through lava door. Break those laws of physics by building ourselves our very own lava door, which is honestly the coolest way you can build an entrance to any house. We're gonna have two pistons on either side and then dispensers on top of each of those pistons. That's going to release our lava so we can put our lava buckets in those. Then they had like an outer door on either side, uh, like so. I'm assuming this is to stop the lava from flowing everywhere, which honestly is a great idea, at least in my opinion. Now, this is the tricky bit that I'm not too sure about. I think they had a block and then a redstone dust here and then an observer facing downwards just above that. So the face is above and the little redstone uh, light there is on the bottom. Then we're going to build across like that and build up. We'll, we'll, we'll contain that. I don't know. They had walls on the side here. I'm assuming this is what they were hiding behind them. And we'll have redstone going across here. Then we'll build a wall across this side. And we'll do the exact same thing over here. We got our block, our redstone dust, and then we'll have an observer facing downward. And finally, we'll build and cover all of that up so that you can't see all of that redstone mess. Now, my guess here, guys, is they now have redstone dust across the top here. And they have redstone coming all the way onto here on this side like so. Then we're going to put a button just here and they basically just decorate it with trapdoors. I don't think the trapdoors actually do anything, but that's what they were doing at the end of the video. So we'll just add it in here in case that is important. All right, and boom. And now we'll give this a go, guys. Hit the button. Hey, check this out. Lava door. Now that is epic. Then we can click that again and the lava gets removed. Yo. Oh, and you can put a button on the other side, meaning you can open and close this door from either side. Now this will make your friends very, very jealous, guys. I mean, who doesn't want a lava door? All right, what are we crafting here? Wait, is this just a... Why are we making a straight pickaxe? How is this illegal? And how is this a hack, guys? I, I don't understand, okay? What are we doing now? What? Wait, what is that? What? No, that is cursed Minecraft. What? I've never tried it, so maybe it is real. No, that has to be clickbait. No way. This is actually... This is cursed. This is illegal Minecraft. 
That's like a super duper long pickaxe. Okay, now what are we crafting? A diamond pickaxe. Don't tell me we're going to make a long ass diamond pickaxe. What is this? What is it? What is that? What? What? No. No way. I just don't believe this for a second. All right, there we go. Stick. And then stone pickaxe. Yeah, absolutely nothing here, guys. And even if we get some more sticks there, yeah, no super long pickaxe. I don't know if you noticed, but they actually had something called a knowledge book appear in the crafting table, which immediately told me that this was a data pack. So I downloaded the data pack on the internet, guys. And then all I have to do is type in data pack, enable uh, file slash data pack. And now when I jump into this data pack made by Command Geek, if we put this in, we can make ourselves our extra log pickaxe. And then with two sticks, we can make a super duper really log pickaxe. Look at this thing. What is this? What is this? Holy flip. What is this? It's so massive. These things look absolutely hilarious, guys. These are definitely illegal, but unfortunately, they're not quite real. I don't know if this video was a clickbait or a meme, but either way, if you want this, you got to download the data pack. We got some bookshelves. Is this like a secret base? A bed? How is a bed illegal, guys? Okay, whoa, what are we hiding under the bed? Minecart, and then... What? <laughs> We're hiding a llama underneath the bed. Um, sorry, mate. You can't quite hide a llama under the bed yet. He sticks out his big old head like... <laughs> and then what are we doing now? We're placing a command block underneath, and now... Oh my gosh! The llama looks like a pillow for the bed. That's really cool. Okay, what's that? Execute at E, type equals llama, C equals 1. Okay, I gotta memorize that. Boom, super memory. But how is this special exactly? Okay, so we cover this up, and then what? We destroy the side here, and now we can place some bookshelves on the side? Wait a minute, guys. Because that's a llama, we could put custom textures on the llama's back using carpet. I just had an idea to take this hack to the next level. Instead of just using the llama for a pillow for our bed, why not turn our entire bed into a creeper bed? That's right, guys. I think this might be able to work. Basically, we're going to dig under here. We'll put our rails in, our uh, minecart that we need, our llama. Shove him in there. In there. Are you kidding? Okay, you know what? We'll bring this out just a bit and put our minecart here. Get in. Yes! Finally! Okay, so he's in. We can push him in to our bed. And basically, we need to use a command block in order to get him to stay still so he looks like a pillow. And we need his head to be facing down so it, like, sticks into the side of the wall. So if we build in our bookshelf, how are we going to do this? Okay, let's finish building in the back wall here, guys, to our fake house. Wait, okay, so they used a command block as well. So we'll give ourselves a command block. That's the first step we need. Um, we'll grab that, and then they jumped under here and... Oh my gosh, there's a cave system under here. For, and we need to get it right here. So let's grab ourselves that command block. It needs to be underneath here. And they used an execute command, I think. So it was execute at E, type equals llama. And they want it to only be one llama, not all the llamas in the world. So we do C equals one and in a radius of three. Close square bracket then the tilde, tilde, tilde symbols. And then we'll need to do TP at S space tilde, tilde, tilde space and then we need to face down to the ground so facing and then tilde negative two tilde and it needs to be down to the ground negative four tilde i don't know if that'll do the trick here guys okay no he is not facing the right way that looks a very very uh wrong we're gonna change his direction here guys instead of doing the negative two there we'll just all we need to do is move the negative two so it's over here and that should fix him Yes, there we go. And now we'll do game rule, command block output, false. That will get rid of all the ugly text in our chat. Now we can cover this up and we should be able to put a, if we tame our llama here, guys. Okay, look, llama, I know you don't want to be tamed by me, but uh, just give me a second. There we go. And if we can put, okay, I need to put a carpet on the llama's back here, guys. Is this the creeper one? Yes, it is. Check it out, guys. We have ourselves a creeper pillow for our creeper bed. That's pretty dope. Minecraft wall that rebuilds itself if broken. Excuse me, you're telling me this is a growing wall? So we have a cobblestone generator there attached up to this repeating redstone signal. All of those are on two ticks there. And then we activate that and it shoves the cobblestone out. But how does this replace, like, replenish a rebuilding wall? We have pistons all across the bottom and redstone connected to there. That comes around to the side. Another redstone clock, all on two ticks, and then activate that. Oh, and that shoves it up. And so when you destroy a block, it automatically rebuilds it? That is cool. Who said Minecraft blocks couldn't be living? Oh, what, the Minecraft laws? Well, they don't matter anymore because we've got ourselves this awesome cobblestone generator system above. I stuffed that up, guys. Do not, do not judge me. I promise you I know how to play Minecraft. Okay, cobblestone. 
There we go. We got ourselves a cobblestone generator. We need a piston, two pistons going into here. This was connected up to a redstone clock each with two repeaters around. I really hope this works, guys. Okay, wait. One, one, two, one, two. Put those all on two ticks and then activate that. Then we're going to need a redstone block. We'll place that down and destroy it real quick. All right, so that is repeating. That's pushing our cobblestone out. Stuff thing went wrong. What did I do wrong? Oh, I'm small brain. There should only be one piston here. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, let's fix that up here, guys. One, okay, we'll put our lava in and our water in and boom, we got ourselves cobblestone generation being pushed out. And then we need to come the max distance here, which is by piston is one, two, three. Okay, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. I think, okay, we've hit the max there. And now we need to come underneath these blocks now and place down our redstone uh, system. So if we have pistons all facing upwards here, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we need uh, redstone repeaters going into each of these, just like that. All right. And boom. Now, they created another redstone clock, which I don't really understand. We can just hook ours up to the existing one over here, and that should do the trick. All right, check it out, guys. We're building ourselves this automatic cobblestone wall. Um, this could this could take a while, so uh, we'll just wait. So uh, it actually turns out I'm the small brain one. It turns out you did actually need to build two redstone clocks. Otherwise, the whole system just breaks. I was like, we're so confused why it wasn't working. I'm like, well, I didn't follow the TikTok correctly. That's my fault. Look at this magnificent wall. Check it out, guys. If I destroy any block here, it automatically gets rebuilt. Look at that. And in any moment now, boom, the hole is gone. Now, my wall hasn't quite finished building, but you see if I break any of these blocks just like that, within a moment, they are fixed up and repaired thanks to this. Honestly, I reckon you can make multiple of these cobblestone generators and make this wall basically invincible from any kind of damage. Now, this is what I call a defense system. This video is titled How to Make Bedrock, which in my opinion is illegal enough because bedrock shouldn't be a block you can get in survival. But we'll give this a good old try. So we're gonna need glass. We surround this with lava here, guys. I already get like a hint of clickbait going on. Like, why would you need a diamond block there? Okay, then we fill the top here with water. We put another diamond block in. We get rid of the water, and then we fill this top level here with lava. After we've made obsidian, we turn this, uh, we turn the lava into obsidian again, and we fill that corner in with a stone block. And then what exactly? We break into the. Oh yes, the diamond block turned into bedrock. No, that has to be fake or a meme or something. You cannot get bedrock in survival. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's build up our walls just like so. Then we had a diamond block in the center. We had, oh, I, I made those a little bit too high. We had lava blocks across the bottom here. I need to get rid of the snow first. All right, lava across the bottom, too easy. Then we need to put lava here in the corner. That'll take all of that out. We put stone, then our diamond block. We get rid of that water and we fill this up. Oh, <laughs> that was too quick. We fill this up with lava once again. And then finally, guys, we're supposed to put water in this corner like so. Um, and, okay, we need to uh, have the water actually go and turn all of that into obsidian. We break that, replace this corner here with stone, and lo and behold, our diamond block is still a diamond block. It is absolutely not bedrock. I'm going to show you exactly how they made it look like it turned into bedrock. All right, let's expose these guys here. Basically, it all runs on a single command block that's testing for when you place lava on the second level. When it detects the lava, it automatically replaces the diamond block here into bedrock. So it's pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead. The first thing we're going to do is place glass on either side here. Then we have our lava across the bottom. That's pretty straightforward. Diamond block in the middle. Yeah, then we put the water on top here. Stone, diamond, get rid of that. And then you place your lava. Fill all of that up just like so. We're going to place our water here and our water on top. And then we can cover that up. Fill this in with stone. And check this out, guys. We're going to destroy the side. And boom, you got yourself a bedrock, all thanks to a command block. Now for our next illegal Minecraft hack, you're gonna have to subscribe and watch the next video because that's all the time we've got for today. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, AOS, you're mad. Bye.